More lockdowns, the Taliban taking over Afghanistan, Biden beat Trump to the presidency, and don't forget that Harry and Meghan Oprah interview, Jeff Bezos travels to space, and in the property market, there were more stamp duty holidays. Buyer demand continued to soar, with a shortage of properties coming to the market. I'm Oliver James, and this is the 2021 yearly property market report. Enjoy. When I did the market review last year, the two standout months were June, where the total amount of listings was 59, and September with 54 sales. September being the end of the initial stamp duty holiday caused a surge of sales. In 2021, there were further stamp duty holidays until the end of September. Let's run through the figures to see if September becomes a standout month for 2021. As you can see on the screen, the results for the whole of the M44 property market, if we start with houses put onto the market, the record for last year was 59. And if you make a quick scan through the months, you can see the market achieved nowhere near that. The busiest month was March and July, both with 42 houses coming onto the market. Apart from these two months, you can see the trend is more or less the same for every month. In regards to sales, Last year, the record was 54 sales in the September of 2020. The record month for 21 was March with 41 sales and August for 40. So way down on the year before. So listings were down, sales were down. What about overall for the year? If we tally, up, tally all the figures together, in 2020, there were 390 houses put onto the market. And in 2021, drum roll please, there was 384, so not much difference there at all. But the year before, we had the first lockdown where most businesses were not operating for several weeks. In regards to sales, there were 362 sales in 2020. 2021 saw, drum roll please, 380. So there were 18 more sales in 2021, so I think that's really interesting. Similar houses put up for sale but more sales. This clear demand has led to prices up and down the country soaring. As I stand here in 2022, that shows no sign of waning. I have very few houses for sale, but a record number of buyers registered. I always looked, like to touch upon the amount of houses reduced in a year. What's different in 21 was as the market grew so quickly, fewer houses needed to be reduced to get a sale as the price was increasing so quickly. Even so, there was 80 houses reduced in the year, with one agent making up almost half that number. I was tremendously proud to have received a gold award a few weeks ago from our industry's version of the Oscars, and I want to publicly thank my staff for all their hard work with a special mention to Ella and Dave. May you all have a healthy and happy new year, and if you are ever in need of some property advice, or just want to know what your house is worth, please reach out to us at any time. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.